Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hi friends. Let's start with problem 2.20. The statement of problem is that rod ABC is made of aluminium for which E is equal to 70 gigapascal, knowing that P is 6 kN and Q is 42 kN. Determine the deflection of point A and point B. So this is basically the same problem as we did previously in 2.19 uh, but here now the value of Q is given. So let's start with the given data. We have given data as given data. It is given that this ABC rod is made of aluminium and modulus of elasticity of this rod is 70 gigapascal which is equal to 70 into 10 raised to power 9 pascal we have also know that p is load at point p is 6 kN so 6 into 10 raised to power 3 newton we have load q is 42 kN so that is 42 into 10 raised to power 3 newton so this is load p this is load q that is given we have the diameter of ab is given D of AB is given, D of AB is equal to 20 mm and D of diameter of BC is also given that is 60 millimeter. We have length of AB is given as 0.4 meter and length of BC is given as 0.5 meter. Also convert it over here that is 0.02 millimeter that is 0 0.06 millimeter so what we have to find we have to find the first part that is uh, determine the deflection at point a so we have to find the deflection at point a so deflection at point a is needed and the second part is that deflection at point b is needed at this point you have to find the deflection so let's start with its solution so as we know we are dealing with deflection so that is equal to pl divided by ae is this is a general formula so we need load we need length we need area and we need modulus of elasticity so let's start with the area so for rod ab for rod ab its area will be a AB is equal to pi by 4 DAB square. So if you put the value that will give you DAB is 0 0.02 whole square. So it will be 314.16 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter. So we will give it as equation 1. Now for rod BC, for rod BC, area of BC will be equal to pi by 4 dBC square which is equal to pi by 4 and that is 0 0.06 whole square and it's come out to be 2.87827 into 10 raised to power minus 3 square meter so this is, this will be your equation 2 now from this figure we can see that load at point a b is actually for load for this uh, rod a b will be this load p a b will be equal to p which is given as 6 into 10 raised to power 3 newton and for load for rod BC, this lo total load in rod BC that is represented at PBC and that will be equal to P minus Q. Why is P minus Q? Because this rod is actually exerting, uh, is uh, uh, under the load of Q and P. So if you subtract Q, P from Q, so you will have a compressive load and this BC rod is in compression. So P value is um, 6 into 10 raised to power 3 and Q is 
for my 42 into 10 is to power 3 so it will give you a negative load which is minus 36 into 10 is to power 3 newton means that the rod bc is in compression so let this is equation 3 this is equation 4 now we know the length of ab we know bc so we will use the formula for rod for rod ab deflection or change in length ab is equal to pab into lab over area of ab into e as e is same for both rods so do not write a b is below the e now put the value e is 6 into 10 is to power 3 the length of rod a b is 0 0.4 and area is the in given in equation 1 that is 314.6 14.16 into 10 is to power minus 6 and e is uh, 70 gigapascal which is 70 into 10 to the power 9 so if you calculate this this give you the value of 109.13 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter now for rod bc rod bc the total deflection will be six bc is equal to pbc into length of bc divided by area of bc into e again we will have to put the value pbc is actually minus 36 into 10 raised to power 3 we have length of bc is 0 0.5 and area of bc from equation 2 that is 2.5 827 into 10 is to power minus 3 and e is 70 into 10 is to power 9. So if you calculate it, that will give you minus 90.94 into 10 is to power minus 6. So this was equation 5 and this is equation 6. Now we will come toward our basic part A, which is to deflection at point A. So as you know that this deflection at point A, let me show you the diagram. This deflection at point A is total is actually the total deflection in this rod AB and total deflection in rod BC. So this uh, deflection A is actually deflection in AB plus deflection in BC. So if you put the value deflection in AB that is given in equation 5 which is 109.13 into 10 is to power minus 6 and that is plus deflection in BC in equation 6 which is minus 90.94 into 10 is to power minus 6. So if you calculate it so deflection at point A will be give, will be 18.19 into 10 raised to power minus 9 meter sorry that, that will be 6 meter minus 6 meter so sigma a no not sigma reflection at point a will be equal to 0 0.018 millimeter so this was your part first answer deflection at point A. Now we will move toward deflection at point B. Now at deflection at point B is actually from here you can see that the B will only the point B will move only the point let me move toward the figure you can see that point B is only the deflection of this rod BC. So total deflection at point B is equal to deflection at BC. And that is calculated in 
equation 6 and that is minus 90.94 into 10 to the power minus 6 and that is 0 0.0919 millimeter so 0 0.9 not that is 0 point 0 0.9 this is meter so that that will be 0 0.0904 4 millimeter. So this was all about part 1 and part 2. These are the answers or result. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question kindly ask in comment section.